All right. Absent. Absent omen. Let's restart this. I don't. Uh, I don't like the name of that. Now that I think about it. I don't know what absent means, but all right. All right. We need a plan to look into the spy cave. It's already assumed that they've took the supplies, but we don't have any proof of that. So we need to prove that in our investigation, right? <laughs> that goes without saying, but we're looking for more than their methods. We need to dig up which officers are behind them and this whole situation. In other words, they're leaders. You realize they're not just going to let us snoop around. It's going to be dangerous. With so much at stake, isn't the danger worth finding out the truth? Alright, you made your point. I'll be with you rooting you on, Zermis. <laughs> oh, no, uh, boss. You don't need to come with me. What? Huh, hold on, huh? It's not responsible of me to let my summoner put themselves in harm's way. Yay! Huh? Why shouldn't I go? You just can't. We have plenty of helping hands, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. All of you, will you join me? Uh, of course. <laughs> why are we, man? Why are we playing with fire? Your orders will surely be carried out. <laughs> Very well. I'll leave it to you then. Yes, uh, we'll begin right away. Let's go. <laughs> huh? D j just like that? Sometimes you need to rely on others. Got it? But... But... Uh, uh, why does it feel like I can never understand what this cheetah is thinking? There's just an... Like, there's just an air where I'm just like, I don't even feel like gambling. We're back, and we were able to confirm the rumors. The Spike A are responsible for selling the government's release supplies. They aren't even trying to hide it. The Spike A's merchant guild is led by the very same man in charge of the markets. <laughs> we checked from top to bottom. There's no one else in control behind the scenes. Hmm? And because of their stellar reputation, they've got nothing to hide. So you're telling me the spy cake handles both the supply and the sale of guns? Sounds less like a gang and more like some sort of chamber of commerce to me. And that's one way you can look at it. So did you confirm that the spy cake are the ones taking the supplies? No ifs or buts? Yes, of course. No mistaking it. Look, I just can't shake the feeling we're being played. If that's the case, then how did they do it? Since you're so certain, then I bet you found out, right? They buy them. The officials are selling the goods to them in secret. Where do they get the Monera? They resell the goods to people slightly below market price. They claim that it's special consideration for the current political climate. And that's usually the that's usually how you go. Oh, but the market prices were actually controlled by them as well. And there's the kicker. 
the price inflation is so bad, you could trade solid gold for a bag of wheat. Dang. <laughs> Meanwhile, their special consideration prices are one-fifth of the market rate. And the people indebted to them for their generosity in this time of need here in many other areas. They're even lending out free money to those in need to stimulate the market. As far as I know, the real workers of the Spike A don't know a thing and are truly kind people. But to the point, they're making much more money than they did before the war. Paying off the officials is just business as usual. After the whole market from farm to table is controlled by the spike A and the officials, the prices are theirs to decide. And they and like that they pull the wool over the public's eyes. How do you expose this? Exactly. Look busy, play dumb, and nobody suspects a thing. To the people, they're the real saviors in comparison to the poor efforts made by the government. As you can imagine, they are very well respected, to put it lightly. Hmm. There's no way the spy cake can get away with this. They already have. We should reveal the truth to the public. They won't buy it. It's not that easy. No, it's not. We've tried messing with their plans in the past, but you can't do anything to, the ex to expose them while the officials have their backs. Hmm. Volsa should be taking care of the situation with the officials as we speak. I think I should inform the governor of the situation. Moss, I doubt that would make a difference. The governor lacks credibility. Sure, you could tell the man the truth, but who would believe him? Even if he suspended the officials responsible, the Spike AR back in the up. As long as the status quo of collusion between business and government remains unchanged, it will be very difficult to shake them. But if the people know the truth, no one will support those merchants anymore, right? The supplies go from the governor are supposed to be free. If the people really found out the truth and turned against the spike A, it would only lead to a riot. True. That's... But who says you need to announce the truth? I've got something better in mind. <laughs> After all, the spike A built up all this goodwill. It's a shame they aren't making good use of it. What are you planning? Have you confirmed the names and residences of the officers involved with the spy cake? Yes, yes, absolutely. I still can't sure I still can't say for sure what to do next. I need to talk to Circlus. Boss, can you help me contact the other crown mage? I can, but what? Why do you need Circlus? I'm in need of his skills. Alright, I'll get in touch with Volsus. I'm still not sure about this whole thing. I feel like we're just... Ugh. You want to borrow Circlus from me? Well, I've been busy investigating all morning with him in case you've forgotten. I'm still, and I'm still going to need help hunting down the officials. We both have our own duties to fulfill, so you're going to have to convince me. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> then let us consider this a debate. It'll be relieving to have one that's not so serious for a change. <laughs> it sure will be. Uh. Hmm.
I'll be direct. Circles is helping me greatly in my investigation. I won't let you take him without reason. Well then, how about we exchange heroes? Chainer's perspective could prove helpful in both, to both our investigations. Then you'll have to convince me. You really want to make me work for this, don't you? You're the one who wanted the debate. I'm more than willing to give you what you asked for. What if I ask you to let me win? <laughs> now, where would the fun in that be in that? <laughs> yeah. Let's see what we got here. I'm good. He got so much more though. <laughs> All right. Oh, I got the thieves. Huh? Hermes hasn't told me much, but we need Circus's skills for the next part of his plan. <laughs> his skills? What are you going to do? Heal a confession out of him? Nah, uh, I don't think so. Then why do you need Circus? Hey! Circus has many talents! <laughs> I'm flattered, but you're only making me more suspicious by the second. Fact is, he can launch a comeback at any. Oh. freaking energy too so he's going big next round so he's gonna go big next round <sighs> when Zermes doesn't say what he's going to do I say you should leave him to his desires <laughs> certainly when things go wrong it becomes everyone else's frustration Oh, don't worry. I'm an expert at taking care of pent-up frustrations. Zermes! I'm not overthinking what he just said, am I? When Zermes is spouting innuendo, I also say you should ignore him entirely.
Wait, does he? Yeah, he's gonna go big. Oh, he's going big. It's gonna hurt. Yep. <laughs> okay. Okay then. Should take him back. All right. So first off, this one, and this, and this. I don't have a hand. Oh, this might have been bad, though. Or maybe not. Look, I can lend you Zermies in exchange for Circus. That way we both get something out of this. Between the nobles and the clergy, I'm sure Zermies will make some friends and get the information you need. They do have their guard up around Circus. But Zermies, how can I know you're going to... How can I know you're going to help me if you won't tell me what you want Circus for? Oh, stop worrying! We both have the same goal in mind. <laughs> oh god, no, no. I doubt it. You heard them. I'm not here to defend you, Zermies. <laughs> you can at least do me a favor, boss. Circus is good at keeping the High Priest in line. I doubt Zermes will be able to do the same. But I'm sure Zermes can help you with other things. I don't even know what you're asking Circus to help with in the first place. Is it? Is that so bad? 
Either way, Zermes can directly investigate the officials without needing to get the clergy involved. Getting me on your side is a bargain, no matter what, cr no matter what, Crown Mage. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder why people find Zermes so attractive when I find him so annoying. <laughs> this is the story of our lives here. <laughs> All right. I see no reason to play two spells. Oh, crap. oh he just took one back, huh? I think I can end this. I think I'm, I can end this. <sighs> yeah, I should be able to, I might, it's a bit of a gamble, but I should be able to end it. So first off, agree with you. Trading heroes is beneficial to both of us. I'm glad you're finally willing to agree with me. Sure, I always follow what is sensible to me. But sometimes, I'd like to be the sensible one. You're all, you've always been sensible, Volsus. But debates aren't won by being sensible alone. It's a trait, then. I need to pick Zermes' mind on a few things anyway. As long as Zermes is okay with it. No problem. I'll explain everything to Circus before I leave. And then that's sorted. And that's that. Sorted. <laughs> So what does Zermes say to you? Uh, <laughs> huh? Didn't Zermes tell you? Nope. <laughs> nope. He has a knack for leaving out the details. Because I probably would have objected. He wishes to take over the Spike. Oh yeah, I totally would have freaking objected. <laughs> for real? 
Yes. Really. We poison a few of their members and threaten to make an example of them. What? Additionally, <laughs> this will afford us the opportunity to get rid of our most difficult opposition. What? What? That's too drastic. I feel the same. It is drastic, but not entirely meritless. You know how many people must have died of starvation due to this incident? Of course you oh! Oh! No! Zerbies! To some people, wouldn't their lives and the lives of those around them be better if the spy cave would disappear? But this isn't how we do the. What? You're telling me to take. You're telling me to take lives to. Ugh! But still, we can't just... Hmm. I can't accept this. We are in no position to judge them. Let them know to use this to justify killing them. Yeah. I was told by Master Makari Hari... I was told my Master Mac yeah. I was told Lord Makari Hari would be accepting of this plan. That's why I can't stand him. It's true, these merchants have broken the lives of others. That was their choice, and if they pay for it with their lives, they have no right to complain. Oh, what? Oh, that was him. They're on. <laughs> but that doesn't mean we are the ones to make them pay. Especially in the name of justice. To think of it makes me sick. Cerby so said that when push comes to shove, we can just say we're fulfilling our duties on behalf of the governor. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I, this, is, this is honestly a curveball. Don't give me that crap. was just his excuse to make you feel better. But he said that there's no other way. If we want to handle this situation with ease, it would be hard not to get rid of the culprits. <sighs> Hold on. Even if they're out of the picture, how are we going to control the spy game? We can't be the ones to run it, can we? Zomri's told me you were already in company with his candidates. Huh? What? Huh? Oh no. You mean us? They were originally part of a gang, right? They should be very familiar with how to manage the spy game. Would the public accept them? According to the teachings of Makari Hari, political upheaval is acceptable in extreme situations. <laughs> because he's God! Of course he's not going to give a damn! You can't always afford to wait for people to work out what's going on. Of course it isn't! No matter what you say, I'm in, a I'm in a difficult position. Crown Mage, I will heed your call. You just need to tell me what to do. Although Mukaki is bothered by this, Mukari Hari would not object under these circumstances. Oh, God! No! Oh, no! Oh! Where do I... What 
kind of dilemma are you throwing on me? Oh. Uh, I don't agree with this. I don't care if God approved. I don't care if God suddenly approved. You cannot skip this scene. <laughs> I don't care if God approved. It's just... I don't fit... And it doesn't necessarily sit well with me. But also, like, in my mind, and somewhere in my heart, I said, no. I don't want Circlus to do it. You could find... Like, we have... You could, you could send hair claws to do it. You can make hair claws or freaking or talk Krokos into it, even though even though you vehemently say no. <laughs> no. I agree with I agree with Mukaki. I don't want to see him. I don't want to see him stain his hands with blood anymore. <laughs> we shouldn't do this they've done is indeed evil, but it doesn't mean that we can punish them ourselves. But Zermi says it was the best course of action. Zermi says a lot of things. Is there no other way? Even if we want to punish the Spike, the right should belong to those who have been deceived by them. But really, would that be even... Would that be any different to revenge? Exactly! It's better to take revenge than to punish others. Huh? Those who do harm in the name of justice are just cowards who don't want to feel guilty. That is true injustice. Vengeful at least know they're doing something bad. I'd rather avoid this altogether. Can you ask Zermes to reconsider? Okay, I'll talk to him. Oh. What did Zermi say? He said he would need to take some time to think of a new plan. I mean, I would think the better plan would just be to send, like, just send hair claws or crocos. But at the same time, I'm not on board with that either. Please send my regards. Whew. Got out of that somehow. Did Zermes think of anything yet? He has his hands full dealing with the other crown mage, Volsus. It'll be difficult for him to, make, to take care of both of you simultaneously. He told me he needs a little more time. He's doing something. I don't want to rush him, but aren't we running out of time? Yes, I know, so... Hey, boss, uh, before that... <laughs> oh, uh, sorry. What? Nothing, nothing. It's just that Zermi's asked us to examine the intel. So I went to him to report our findings. <laughs> intel? Let's hope it helps him. In either case, let's, let's wait a little longer. Notify me if any new development arises. I don't like this. Still no new plans today? I 
think he'll come up with something very soon. I think he already has. Hey, aren't those, hey, aren't those two from the hyena gang? How can one be so brazen to stumble their way into a proper establishment like this? Damn scoundrels, how dare they come here? <laughs> Boss, everything is settled. Thank you for your hard work. Not at all, not at all. He totally did something and he did it behind our fucking backs. <clears throat> it wasn't hard work at all with that plan you and Zermi's made. Very well. Crown Mage, there is something I must confide with you. No! No, no, no! <sighs> no! You didn't! I think I know what you're going to tell me. You're right. We already took care of the spiky. The hell? What do you mean? What was the point of all this then? I apologize, but it was the best course of action. All that is left is to take control of the spiky. <sighs> What's done is done. So what do we do next? I had a feeling. Or do you plan to keep me in the dark? I won't. But before I show you the light of the situation, it would be best to meet up with Volsus and the others. <laughs> Oops. How did that happen? I have been told they have finished on their end as well. Alright. And it's time to talk honestly. Oh, and I will be dobbing you into dobbing you into Mikaki. So do watch out if he lights up a fire on your arse. Okay. <laughs> dread for what's to come. <laughs> God. You gotta be kidding me. I can't... I, I knew he was gonna go behind my back. It was just... Ugh. Uh, my... Like, my sole reason is that I didn't want... Like, especially after... Especially after Circus's chapter, I didn't want him to have blood on his hands. Like any more blood on his hands. That's all like that's my thought process. That was the whole thought process on that. Do I even have enough for an interlude? Let me check. Okay, I do. <sighs> What's Circlus doing here? <laughs> uh, Volsus? Is it just me, or does that tuft of white fur down the hall belong to who I am thinking? Well, you certainly didn't summon him. And I took Circlus as too withdrawn to come to a place like this by choice. I suppose I was right. I think 
I should approach him. <laughs> Maybe it's best if you did this alone. Right, it would be a bad idea to crowd him. Two people's a crowd? Circus. And here I thought I had a moment of peace to myself. Just to wash some of this filth off. But why bother? By all means, go ahead. Why don't you give me another impossible task to pass judgment on? Dude! <laughs> After all, you know I can't say no. Whoa! Easy now. I'm not here to tell you to do anything. You can relax. You do realize that telling somebody to relax never works, do, don't you? <sighs> You're right. I should know better than anybody by now. I still couldn't stop myself from saying it. You really are gifted at understanding how people feel, aren't you? <laughs> I wouldn't say it's a gift. When you have the power to heal somebody, or to take their life, it doesn't really matter how they feel. Perhaps a murderer has to live because he's scared of what might happen to him after he dies. If I can save him, is it right to do so? Oh no. Even if we might have a use for him? Even if he saves people later on in life? He still killed people, and there's no bringing those people back! This sounds oddly specific for a hypothetical. Well, it is. When I was alive, I spent most of my nights thinking of hundreds of situations, trying to figure out what was best to do, having the abilities that I had. If it bothers you so much, why didn't you stop using magic altogether? Because inaction is still a choice. And the problem was always having a choice. Preaching of the choir there. Sometimes I used to fantasize about accidentally disgracing Makari Hari's name in such a pathetic way that he'd find a way to take my powers forever. But that never happened, so I spent each day a coward. And after a certain point, it felt like every day faded into the next. And there was a kind of comfort in that paralysis. But I never stayed numb for long, so I was back to making choices again. After all, I really did not want to be part of something bigger than myself. Whew. And now I am. I choose to be or not. I think I understand why you became a hero now. <laughs> that being said, I'm still going to give you the right to choose when I give you orders. That isn't fair. No, what isn't fair is is foisting a responsibility on somebody else for all your all of your choices. You have powers that people would kill for. Maybe you didn't ask for them. Or maybe you didn't understand what you were going through to get them. Save a life if I could. 
I wouldn't worry about my action if my actions caused harm in the long term. You wouldn't. The people we help aren't our responsibility. Not forever. Aren't they? Hmm. It's no wonder you drove yourself mad. I'll summon you if I need you. But I'm going now. sorry if this is what I am. You're not the first to be angry with me. And I believe that I deserve the anger. I must be narcissistic to believe that my decisions shape the world more than anybody else's do. Everybody has to make the choices just as everybody has to make choices just as difficult as my own. believed in the dream of a better world for so long. Did you? I did. And over the course of time, I've seen so much pain and so much bloodshed, it's hard to think I'm doing enough. And any wrong choice I make is part of the reason why the good we can do is never enough. is not a dream though. We stumble through it and I think most of us try to do our best. There are plenty of things I regret, I suppose, but I'd really regret never have had the choice in anything I ever did. Maybe that's why it's so hard for me to understand you. <laughs> I wish I could shut out the thought I wish I could shut out the thoughts like you do. When you put it like that, it sounds like you're calling me stupid. <laughs> N not at all. It must be much clearer without all the noise. Damn. <laughs> Why do I relate so much? That's kind of you. I'm here that I'm revered for that. The world needs more kindness. Mind if I wash you? Well, <laughs> what did I say? No! <sighs> no, stop! Rewind. Rewind! Mind if I wash with you? like an easy decision to me. <laughs> You'd be surprised how easy most of your decisions can be when you're not a paragon. Be forever immortalized. Oh, we'll end the part here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we got a big episode coming. All right. <laughs>